Hey guys, this is Michelle Lynn, and I have the pleasure of introducing to you one of my favorite people who is a first author of a paper from Journal of uh, General Med a Graduate Medical Education. The paper is called What Makes a Great Resident Teacher? A multi center study of medical students attending an internal medicine conference. And I wanted to welcome Dr. Um, uh, Lindsay Melvin. How are you? Hi, guys. I'm great. How are you? Hey, tell me about yourself and what you would be doing otherwise if you weren't hanging out with us here. So I am a fourth year internal medicine fellow slash resident at the University of Toronto. Um, normally you can find me on the wards, uh, seeing patients or in clinic and trying to teach and hang out with as many medical students and other residents as possible. I really like sort of being around other people. So um, that's part of the reason we started to, to do this kind of work and I started up in this kind of research and looking at sort of education and, and how we as residents are educators. You know, I think back to my residency training years and I can still remember vividly all of my great resident teachers and I've always wanted to figure out like, well, you know, what makes them great teachers? So I thought your paper was super relevant and I wanted to hear like, you know, as a resident I was never doing any research whatsoever. So I, I mean, what inspired you to do this? So this was actually from when I had just started residency and what happened was I was just starting out as a PGY1 and I remembered all of my amazing resident teachers and I thought what are the things that made them so great and I couldn't I couldn't put my finger on it necessarily and I was interested in medical education even sort of in medical school and I thought that you know to start out uh, a project I was really interested in knowing what are the qualities that the medical students are looking for when it comes to resident teachers what are the things that make that resident teacher so outstanding and it was partly selfish for me so that I knew so that I could be a better teacher but then when I went to the literature I saw that we actually don't know and when this study came about back when I was in PGY one, we didn't know what those qualities were. We knew that residents do a lot of teaching and it's very, it was very sort of on vogue to have these resident as teacher programs, but the qualities of resident teachers per se weren't well identified. So when we designed this study, we set out to determine what are those qualities and sort of teaching techniques that resident teachers use that make them excellent. And really, we were interested in knowing if this was different from anything to do with faculty and faculty teachers. Hey, so set it up for me. What did your paper end up showing? So what we found was certainly that medical students have specific things that they think are good qualities in resident teachers. And, and a lot of the techniques, the teaching techniques that they're looking for is um, things that help drive home a take-home point so that they know when they're walking out of the session what they were supposed to learn. So any kind of use of clinical examples, any kind of illustration, medical students really appreciate that. And when it came to qualities of resident teachers, not surprisingly, medical students really like people who are approachable, who are friendly. Some of the more interesting things that we found from the, the paper, from the study, sorry, is that medical students really aren't looking to the resident teachers to be you know 100 percent right all the time and being able to go and look things up that was okay by medical students but more interestingly we found that the residents giving feedback wasn't something the medical students valued all that much um, and and there's some interesting thoughts as to why that is which we'll probably delve into when we have our Google Hangout but um, the other part was when we asked students about professionalism it wasn't something they ranked very highly and again potentially something that was a limitation of how we phrase the word professionalism but I think addresses sort of medical students are looking to residents as near peers almost as friends and that relationship is very different from a faculty and so they don't want the resident to be high and mighty and you know intense and intimidating they want someone they can relate to yeah the, the high and mighty intimidating that's my job they don't they don't need to do that uh, well, that's a great summary. I just wanted to welcome you quickly to this preview of the paper, and I hope you guys join us for the JGME Alium Hot Topics in Medical Education Conversation that's uh, to come. So okay. for those of the residents out there, by the way, Lindsay's a perfect example. You could do it all, right? You could do research as a PGY1, my goodness, and, uh, and, and become a great teacher. So you could do it all. It's never too early to start. Absolutely. Thanks, Take care.